Alrighty, yeah. So I've had a couple of runs the past few days I've been looking at. I've had on um, sub 10 pace and I guess I had another one on stream today. I guess I did stream a couple minutes ago and I went over this run on stream, but I wanted to kind of just go over it again just because I feel like I played this really badly. And also the audio in this run got muted and I wanted to upload it just to show that. <laughs> I wanted to show this one on YouTube because of how fucking badly I played it, I'll be honest. Um, so... I'm just going to do a voiceover, because I was doing that before I got my 929, and I kind of stopped doing that, because I started ripping a lot of pace, and I kind of got... Always felt like, you know what, I'll I'll catch up on the on analyzing all my uploads at some point, but now I've, I've got like 10 hours of stuff to do, and I'm never going to catch up on that, so I'll just start doing analysis from now on again, I think. And most of the runs I had, I narrated the runs as I did them, and explained everything I was doing wrong in the run, and proceeded to keep doing the wrong thing in the run, so <laughs> whatever. But uh, yeah, so let's get back actually a little bit. So, from here you see I have 4 iron, 3 diamonds, and 9 gold, and also 8 cod. 8 cod is fine, I, like, obviously it's 8 food, which is great, but cod fucking sucks. I am, I'm a cod hater. I'm a salmon fanboy. I would do anything for some salmon. Um, which, but, yeah, so, in this situation, you'll see here, but I, I crafted a golden helmet, and I just think it's the incorrect play that ends up paying off in this run. I'm not paying off, like I don't get punished for it. Also, bad crafting there. I should be hot. I should be grabbing the um, the the iron and double clicking the double shift clicking on the sticks and then making the bucket. This is better. And also, I started doing boat. I mean, I mean, sorry, I mean, sorry. I started doing doors first instead of boat and then offhanding the boat. Like how some runners like do guile and I think silver do it. And but I guess do it incorrectly in this round. I've been I've been doing it after the past few days now. Like if you check the last few uploads, I've been doing that. But I guess haven't done that in this upload in this run apparently. And my first thought leaving this island is that I want to go this way. Pretty sure you can see my cursor, right? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, good. Um, because this part of the ocean looks a little bit not as shit as over there, but I see a little crack in the ground there, so I end up just going there for that instead. It just ends up working out. But yeah, it's just kind of awkward. Also, my hot part here is really strange. Like everything through here is normal, but my the fact that I have both gravel and um, my iron here is really bad. Because normally I'll keep my iron in my seventh slot, because I always have my foot in steel there. So I, I like just keeping the iron in my seventh slot, and then just hot keying it into my, into my um, inventory or into my like, crafting grid to uh, make flint and steel. Just so I already have the, the uh, slot free. But in this run, I just do not do that, and thus I lose my boat to my and to my hot bar. And you'll see in a second here. I also have this. This issue continues to compound throughout the overworld. Also, this here is awkward. I pick up the magma before I pick up the door, which is just unlucky, I think. I'm not sure if I could have done anything better here. Because I'm already leaning pretty far over this little water thing here. Over the, over the um, wooden plank, I mean. Like, if I was standing further on the on the side of the obby here, that could have understood that better. But, like, is this, like... I should have picked this up, but I just didn't. This is kind of awkward portal now. But, yeah. I have to get a gravel still. What I mean, rather... This is awkward as well. I changed my keybinds before I got my uh, most recent PB, my 906. I got because I got a new mess, and I still just struggle to like go to my ninth slot to throw out the door while entering the Nether. I have to press F, then C, then V, which are all right next to each other on the keyboard. So it's I, I'm always slow with doing that. So I could have had more time to like sort my hopper out a little bit more and fix it a little bit. And let's go back a little bit. Actually, sorry, this is gonna be a, a kind of long video. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um. This is, I guess, a lot I don't like about this run. So, I get my spike here. And I see my bastion right there. So, this is around negative 121 degrees. So, I'm, I'm going to the right. I'm going to the right. I mean, sorry. I'm going to the left. Sorry. I, I misspoke. My bastion is on the left-hand side. But you'll see in a second here, I kind of forget where I'm going. And I still go the right direction. I take mo the uh, mostly correct terrain to get there. But a lot of this is very unoptimal movement. Like, I, I could have gone to the left here a little bit more. I could have, I should have voted down here. Now I also, it's kind of stuck with this little wall here, and so I just vote clutch here. And I can go through this little hole. One second, sorry, a, little, a little more. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I keep missing my uh, spots I want to talk about. But yeah, you see this little terrain right there. This is juicy. That leads straight to the bastion. I just don't take it. I end up wasting around 20 seconds here. Thankfully, I pick up that boat, even though I probably didn't deserve to, with my movement. Yeah, I noticed the fortress is there over there on the right. So I just re-e-ray again. And I go over here. 
I see it's a bridge bastion in a second, I think. Ooh. Excuse me, I'm tired. I'm very happy that tonight's gonna be daylight savings because I'll be able to catch up on some sleep and get a free hour. Give me uh gain an hour of sleep tonight. And this is another awkward thing here. Um you need nine blocks to route a bridge. Well, with a right trip, with a right trip, which, which is what this is. So, right here, if I just place a block in mine two to go up, I'll, I'll have all the blocks I need. But I opt to just grab more blocks, and I guess to lose another five seconds just for no reason. I think I end up throwing these with another rack out later in the run, or because like not, or like I end up not utilizing them very well. And also, this is where the um, as I said earlier, and during the crafting split, that I didn't get punished for uh, making the gold helmet, and this is why because. This is kind of a tedious bridge, because you can see I have the Coglins here, and I have some pigs here as well. I think I have a pig that's mad over here as well, I heard during the run, I forget. But this is just a very tedious position to be in, because there's terrain going up here. This is very uncomfortable. So, spending any more time here than I have to is just best avoided. So, yeah, I go down here and I get, yeah, rolled. But yeah, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. And I see a very basic bridge right here. This is a very fast passion split. I get very lucky, I think, because I guess it's look at all these pigs, dude. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's nine pigs there. It's a tenth guy right there as well. And I also just throw in my gold luck here. It's kind of awkward. I think I hit here once. Yeah, I did. But not awkward. I can see a lot, almost all my obby here. It's very juicy. I leave my army there by accident. I throw my gold helmet here to distract that guy. And I, I opt right here because I have 13 obby. I, I know it's bridge. I'm probably going to get 20 obby. But I opt against uh, organize my inventory. And I notice here, here that I have a, a, a gold axe still, so I go over here, over here and grab two stone. I could have waited to make an iron axe, but looking at my trades, see how fast my trades are coming out, I just decided to, get, to just go for the stone one because it'll be faster. I don't end up waiting, but you can see here I do have four. I do already have 48 um, nuggets, so I could have made four. Yeah, four yeah, no, sorry, five iron, which is enough for an axe. But I'm just, I'm just really just waiting on fire res now. Like I feel comfortable on this pearl count and this explosive count for zero. And I'm yeah, I guess I guess leave now. And I didn't see it during the run, but I do pick up string here in this last cycle of trades, like right here. I, I didn't see this, and this ends up costing me. Oh, well, this isn't. I think I would have thrown another, thrown the zero on this one either way, but it would have been more comfortable, and I would have played the zero a little bit differently. I was playing very aggressively because I had very weird height and very weird offset, and also I did my setup very badly and broke the crystal as well. Uh, sorry, I'm spoiling the run. Um, there's a lot of things that go wrong in the end dimension in this run. I think there's some, there's like a lot of things that go wrong in like every every facet of this run. There's around like what I think around a minute and a half of time loss in this dude, which is crazy because like I'm. Okay, I hate, I hate to call myself a good runner, but like having playing a seed this badly is rare for me because I normally have will have like one mistake that'll cost me like twenty seconds, but I had like multiple big mistakes in this run. I guess like compound into guess this atrocity you see. That pearl there was the most underhanded shit I've seen in my life. That was awful. Get that shit off my screen. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Watch this again. Um, yeah. So I throw the pearl right before I jump. So I jump afterwards. So I would have gotten propelled over to here-ish, I think, if I throw that pearl properly, but I guess don't. So, yeah. I also messed up my render distance. Excuse me, oh my god. For, for um, dynamic. I see a magma cube there, I'm just opting over here, and it ends up being a spawner here, so I guess it pays off. I've also, let's keep track, I've burned through four food now, so I'm halfway through my food, and I'm around halfway through the run. And another thing here, I said during the run analysis, is that I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if this is like in the right area for making this. I'm pretty sure I'm still activating the spawner, but I might not be. I probably should have built this uh, like wither killing tower a little bit closer to the blade spawner, just to like guarantee that I'd be activating it at all times. I'm pretty sure I am, because when I come back to the blade spawner, there's like eight or nine blazes just sitting there. <laughs> but I don't know. This is just like a little bit iffy. I placed those three blocks there as well, a block away from the, the fence, so it means that uh, I can't get too close to the um, withers because they, they'll be uh, very close to hitting me. Like normally, if you, pl if you place it a block further back, 
and you have more room to like get up close to withers over there to hit them and i do end up getting hit because of that this is also the beginning of the um the, the decline of health so right here i've got what one that's what seven hearts yeah so i've got seven hp right now and at the end of this exchange here get hit by this blaze here right yeah it's a heart and a half I jump here for no fucking reason. Another heart and a half gone. Bang, another heart and a half gone. So I, I, I lose like the majority of my health bar. I lose uh, actually about half of what I had before. And here's where I hit by the, by the weather, I think. I have to break this fire here. This, this is very awkward. I'm just like, I just hit out with little, con it's so hard to explain, but like, I'm playing the seed with such little confidence in myself. Like you can just see from my mouse movements just how little like, not like how little I care, but like how little I like trust my own movements. And it's kind of uncomfortable. Because like, I have like a 906 PB, like I should be getting better on this kind of pace. Like this is not PB pace right now. And this is another, oh, I forgot about this. Oh, I'm so sorry to advance. At some point during this run, I pressed the tilde key, which is my um, activate, like, which is like my, my button that I press, that when I press it, it'll like, it signifies to my ninja rain bot that I'll be the next I throw I th uh, English. I'm so sorry. And that the next eye I throw will be um, to uh, show that I'm gonna be that I'm doing bow die like the like, like, like the blue bow. I'm sorry, I can't fucking speak. I'm so tired. I'm so I'm talking so fast and talking so unclearly. Um, but yeah. So the first F3C here. Um, I'm don't get an actual eye measurement. And I learned from someone in chat after this run that there's a good way to fix it. I'll say that in a second. But yeah, I have 3C here, and it doesn't come up over here in my ninja remote overlay. But if if you if I were to just jump up and press F3C, it would put it would read it after fixing the issue. It would um, read the it would read it now because all ninja remote does is it looks for it checks if like the the uh, F3C you guys you guys copied your clipboard is the exact same as the last one. So if it's different in any way, including like, like your Y height, then it's just, it's fine. It'll read it and it'll be just fine. But yeah, so I throw a second eye here. <laughs> oh my God. So I throw a third eye here to guarantee it's right where I think it is. And then after this chat room, oh, I us just say chat room. I realized that this is not 100%. And keep in mind, this offset is not changed at all. This is the exact same as it was on one eye. I decided to throw a third, a fourth fucking eye of Ender. Look at that. Spectacular. My hubris is, is humongous. And look, it's the exact same offset. Three times. Oh my god. I wait. How much time did I waste here? I'm actually curious. I haven't checked. When am I blind? Oh my god, it's so bad. Yeah, so 626 to what? Yeah, that, that, was, that was a 43 second eye measuring split. That's insane. That's crazy slow. Damn. I just tried to hit. I'm bad at the game. I, tried, I, tried, I decided to pro hang there and I decided not to pro hang because I'm bad at the game. I should be pro hang right now. Pro hang, go, go. I'm not doing it, whatever. Jump around this guy. Like run over here. And we only have one food left now. So I, I mean, I'm kind of just fucked. I guess I have to run to the stronghold pretty much. I allow myself one pearl in a second here. And it ends up being the um, stronghold ends up being right at the bastion. I think, yeah, I threw two pearls here actually. Oh. Excuse me. I'm tired. But yeah, so I think it's being over here. This pearl's sick though. This is the one cool part of the run. This pearl's awesome. And I decided to eat the, pearl, eat, eat the uh, food here. But yeah, it's four blocks away. From the actual stronghold. So bang, 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 bang. We're in. A damn. Alrighty. Bang, bang, K. Okay. There's a spike there. It looks, little, it looks a little bit more. It looks a little bit more to the left hand side. So I decided to go down here. But I guess here the pearl room there you can see it. And if some fishes is. 
and yeah, so I, I take um advice my I take uh, the strategy of uh, the of Dugal here, so I guess yeah. And right here, this is a eight forty portal room. We can, we do not have the health currently to zero. We do not have the the, the explosive crafts to zero. And frankly, we don't have the pearls to death reset to zero. So I'm not sure why the fuck I prep for zero here. Because objectively, I think it's going into the end, I guess banking on like a 120 end split, it's just better in every way. Almost always here. Ooh. Two, three. But my dumb ass does not do this. Let's, let's just walk, let's just watch this here. Oh my god, he's so slow. Look at this guy go, he's so slow. Oh my god, I hate him. Why did it slow down? Am I, am I playing? Yeah, I'm playing in slow motion. I thought I thought. I was like, it's like I'm, I'm not, and I don't play it this slowly. There we are. That's much better. You <laughs> see, the, the movement speed seemed wrong. Also, I just don't start my hopper app. Also, you can see Hound in chat saying two more beds question mark because I saw that string from earlier in the run. It's not crafted. Now my hopper is fucked up. This isn't a sub town anymore because they. Actual 40 second zero prep. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is. Dude, this hurts to watch. I only have soul sayings. So I've tossed all my good blocks out in the run. Go to Pearl. Bang! It breaks the crystal. We go over here. Do we still do. And I. Forgot I'm using soul sand, so I go to the wrong spot. So I only go up two blocks here instead of this. I only go up one block here instead of two. So. This is awkward now. The dragon doesn't fly somehow. The dragon is nervous, drinking my inventory sword out, and that was the worst bed in all of existence. Look at the damage. Let's watch that back again. I want to watch that bed back again. That's some crazy bad gameplay. <sighs> Bang! <laughs> it's so bad. And then I. This bit's super early. I guess breaks, and then I guess rage. I want to hear my reaction. I, it's, dude, I'm so bad. Holy shit, that's the- I'm any stream, dude. Holy shit. That's the worst I've played a seed in my life. That's the worst play I've had a seed in my life. I fucked up every single part of that run. But yeah, that guy, that beautiful man talking, look at those hands, dude, hands are so hot. Um. He's correct. This seed, I, I played this seed like absolute dog shit, and I'm really embarrassed about that. I just wanted to just di dissect every single part of it to, to for you all tonight. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm gonna keep doing analyses, analyses as, as I can, because like I enjoy doing them. I I, I don't think like I learn a lot from them, but I guess like vocalizing what I've fucked up or what I've done well to run. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.